Good morning, students. Good morning, Good morning ma'am. Ma Today, I'm going to ask you questions that relate to your existence. This world is a versatile place to live in. Everyone is different here. Different in terms of their gender, religion, skin color, nationality, ethnicity, thoughts, beliefs, and so on. These grounds of variation also unite people with similar interests. Those who believe in same religion or are from same country or advocate similar ideologies tend to find themselves united under a particular level. Let's take your example. All of you are different and unique in your own ways, but there must be some qualities or traits which are similar in some of you. And that is what can make you united. So can you think of any such qualities which are similar in all of you? We are Bangladeshi. We are the student of East West University. We study English language and literature. These are good examples. Ma'am, boys have their own unique identities. So have girls who we make the world better. Sarah, we lead the world. Women can never do what men can. That's patriot speaking. <laughs> Until matriarchy is a concept. <laughs> well, I had an example. We're brown in color. Give a break. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Oh, right, your highness. You are white like a newly white wall. Students. No more arguments, please. Please, listen to ma'am. Listen? <laughs> what an artist listen. <laughs> Don't make fun of him. You see, I started the class to find resemblances, but it found its way to dispute. Okay, let's dive into the world of literature and see how our famous characters dealt with their identities. Meet Picola from Toni Morrison's The Bluest Eye. She is an African American girl who lives in Ohio with her family. Picola. Oh, Picola? Picola? Sorry. The half white girl. You're so awful in everyone, especially boys. That I am. And it's so useless for you to try to be popular. Why? Would you give me some tips on how to be popular? We can be friends. What? Friends? Ha! Look at you. You are an ugly little girl. Unfair and cute. Marin Pill. And you? Ugly. Black and ugly. Kikola. What can I do for you, my child? My eyes. What about your eyes? I want them blue. Come to me. Let me heal you. I can do miracles. Rise out of the pit of your darkness and see the world with blue eyes.
Bangla literature. Our very own Rokia Shakal Thusen presents us a utopian story, Sultana's Dream, critiquing patriarchy. It is an imagined ladyland where matriarchy prevails. Hello from the outside. <laughs> Outside? Guess you were dreaming. <laughs> well, I had a wonderful dream. Sister Sarah took me to a land where women are no longer in Zenana. No restrictions for them at all. Instead, men are confined inside Mardanas. Can you imagine that? <laughs> what in the world are you talking about? <laughs> Mardana? <laughs> Mardana? It's true. I had a wonderful dream where men are kept indoors just like you cannot let loose lunatics from the asylum. So you think men are lunatics, huh? You are a lunatic. Do you have any idea how unfair it is to shut the men, shut the men in and let the woman loose? So it's unfair now. How the tables have turned. Whatever. And would you please tell me how the woman would run the world without us? It's impossible for women. Why not? In Ladyland, ladies take care of all the outside work while gentlemen are kept indoors to mind the babies, to cook, and to do all sorts of domestic work. Oh, stop your senseless, meaningless fantasies. Your dreams doesn't make any sense to me. Women cannot rule the country or rule people single-handedly, nor do they have the ability to do all the office works. <laughs> Even men's brains are bigger than women's. <laughs> so what? An elephant also has a big and heavy brain like men. However, do you consider the elephant as a superior creature than yourself? Answer me. You know what? Men talk more and do less. They waste time by smoking cheroots. <laughs> Sister Sarah also asked me to think why the death rate of men is higher than women in COVID-19 cases. You want to know why? Because the outside world is lifeless without us. No, you are lifeless without the outside world. You break lockdown and give illogical excuses. You have gone mad. That was just a dream, woman. That was just a dream. Remember, you are still confined in Zanana. I wish all of it were not a dream. What do you say? Now let's go to the coast shores of Brazil and see what Crusoe and Friday are up to. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thousands of years ago, maybe more, upon an island on a lonely shore, Robinson Crusoe came in one fine day. No rent to pay and no voice to obey. His good man Friday was his only friend. He didn't borrow or lend. They were hunting for rabbits when the weather grew colder. Crusoe came home with a hair on his shoulder now. Where did Robinson Crusoe go? With Friday on Saturday night. Stop barking, Friday, and listen to me. You must call me master. Who are you, master? You're no longer Crusoe? Yes, I am. Master is not a name, it is a role. It is also my identity. A master is someone who will tell you what to do, and you must do that. Oh, so I'm a master too. 
That's so fun. <laughs> you, master. <laughs> People like you or those uncivilized Indians can never be masters. <laughs> you know nothing. I know many. I know. Stop being childish, Friday. I will teach you about God, the Lord, the Savior. Benamaki. No, not Benamaki. Benamaki is not a real God. I'm not talking about your stupid mountain or forest gods. I'm talking about the one and only true God. My God, not true? Why my God, not true? Because it cannot be. Why your God can? Why your God true? Because it is. Because I say so. <sighs> okay, let's talk about something else. Today I am going to teach you about the glorious conquests of England. What is co 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 conquest? Conquest, you fool. Conquest. When a country or a group of people takes over another country by military force and establishes its rules and regulations and imposes them on the native people, that is what is a conquest. So the people there, they don't agree? <laughs> they don't get the chance to mind, let alone become angry. It has been imposed on them and they obey. Oh. So they're just like you, master. Lesson dismissed. You are so disobedient, impolite, stupid, Friday. No, 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 help me. No, 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 kill me, master. Because, uh... Students, we've come to the end of our class. So, what are your thoughts? Our existence seems meaningless. All our life, we have been defending the identities that were imposed upon us. That too, within the first two minutes of our birth, facts like our skin color, religion, nationality, and gender become our labels, based on which we are being judged. We don't know who we are until we become an other in someone else's world. Our identity has already been chosen for us. We are what the surroundings want us to be. Thank you, dear. Now, we throw the question at you. Who are you? 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 Who are you?